And here we go. This is Flash Somebody at the Dark Table on the Real Liberty Media. And we're going to give old Vincent a few more minutes to gather his hamsters together, feed them, <clears throat> and then join me here for a masterful debate about life, the universe, and everything. <laughs> anyway, so I wasn't planning, here we go again, I wasn't planning to uh, do this alone, and it's a different beginning. So, I see the dork table thing in the RLM, so uh, thanks to Grimner and passing us around all the other places that pick up the show. It's a lot of fun to do it, but it's a lot more fun to do it with a partner. <laughs> Maybe that's it. Is the talking to yourself is like mental masturbation. But it just goes on and on and on and on for two hours. Anyway, we're going to start out this here particular thing by saying hello to the RLM group. And we got uh, Barman, Cowboy Tech. Grimnir, Moose Girl, Miss Kate, Wow, Phantom, Asmo, Chalcedony, Chloe, Singular, Colfax 101, A Cyborg Noodle, that's still, I don't know why that cracks me up, it was like that last one, uh, Chicken something or another, I can't remember that one now, but when I seen it, it was hysterical, A Don C, Dakota, me, Frumpy, Frumpy, Frumpy 3, what are you, working? Uh, Graham Z, hey, Grammy, if you're on, if you're here, I don't know, probably just logged on. She, she's she been a busy little woman all summer long, and I've had to do this here dork table alone, or with others. And we got Grom, wait, yeah, Gromit, I be Don C again, Java Doctor 2. Jays, nines, Jays up in Scotland. And we got, yeah, up in Scotland because I'm south of them for a change. Oh, uh, want a taco? Kozu. Master Brow out in Arizona. But don't tell anybody. It's a secret. Master Brow is a, in a not disclosed location somewhere in the vicinity of Tucson, Arizona. But it's a secret, so don't tell anyone. And we got, mm, mm, again, and pox box, poxified, pox phone, pone sauce, pawn sauce, pone, pone, pawn, I don't know. Potato, potato, rain, ah, the rain, fluke, robworks, sock puppet, skittle, trust number one, and then there's always that other guy, Vin E, but we're waiting on Vinny, so, hmm. Uh, what are they talking about in the RL and M today? Hmm. Well, lately, what I've been doing is, um, oh, t earlier today, Chloe made a comment out of the blue that just strikes me as so odd because I believe it so deeply and she, she doesn't seem to. And that is everything, everything has to do with math. Oh, yeah, no, Graham, I, I figured that much out, but, um. It's just a little different doing it alone than it is doing it with Vinny to yell and argue with. So, anyway, so everything that I think, this is how I see the world. I, you know, I always do the show and say you and them and blah, 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 blah. But it's just me talking. And uh, everything to me is based on math, all of it. All the, all the waves all have to do with numbers. Everything that matters has to do with math. So, there you go. But people disagree with me just to just to have something to say. <laughs> and last, let's see, last couple, I don't know what, 20, 30 years have just been asking this one question. Nobody will ever answer it. Nobody will ever discuss it with me. It's, it's like I never even say it. Okay, we have this uh, banking system where the governments of the world buy 
they buy their fucking printed money from a third party. Okay, so let's just use... Oh, come on, Hannibal. So I think my wife just pulled up, so the dog is going to be a little excitable. But so they, they so let's just use a thousand dollars as an example, because it's easy to yeah thousand. It's not too much. So the bank calls the Fed and says they want a thousand dollars, but the Fed charges them interest on top of the thousand dollars that they printed for them. Now whether they printed it electronically or whether they print it. Uh, in paper where is the interest to pay on the loan that's due so far as i could tell that money for a hundred years has never been in print but they they got this 250 trillion dollar debt going on (laughs) i have a sneaking suspicion that money that they claim is debt is all the interest owed on all the banknotes and loans made through their system, which makes everything kind of a, a fraud, I think. But here I am, talking on the internet, smoking the cigarettes and drinking the tea. But it doesn't mean that I, uh, I don't approve of the game that we play. But there are very few choices around it. Uh, unless, you know, like you want to live out in the beach or something. Well, maybe not. People go to the beach and probably ruin it for you. Or like Goober. Goober wants to get an island. Mm. It's not a bad life, but the problem with island living is you. after a while you get tired of the faces that you see every day. <laughs> unless you're on a huge island and then you don't need to go anywhere because you're already there. But a small island gets boring very quickly and i was on an island that was about i don't know maybe 30 miles long and five miles wide and after the first couple of months i couldn't stand it anymore but i had reasons to be there so i did what i had to do and hell life just uh kind of took me from there to here by circumstances so i don't know any way to explain the circ thing so i try not to Mm, taking a sip of my delicious tea. All right, let me see if we got Vinny around or not yet. I was not prepared. Oh, he's, his computer is not up to the task. Well, that's Vinny for you. Vinny will make it work. He'll probably call in 20, 30 minutes to the end of the show and say, Hey! Because I was going to argue with him about something today, and I forgot what it was. I was thinking more on the flat round. I like to argue that because both sides are flawed. Both sides of just about any topic you can bring up are flawed when you think it through. All the shit that we're taught. I mean, if you just look at the things that we all collectively agree are a bunch of bullshit. I still can't figure out where any support comes through to continue this GMO inoculation voting bombing society that we've got. Well, then again, that's why I'm so popular with people on the RLM, because I stand on the side that is right. Oh, boy. Yeah, I wonder what side is right. I bet everybody's wrong. We shouldn't be doing... Probably 99% of what we do is bad for us. All you have to do is open up a few links on the internet. And the problem with that, though, is if you, it depends on your approach to it and what source you go through and what your history is on the internet because they now the, the computer people have figured out how to guide us. Okay, I'll give them a call, Grim. But the computer people have figured out ways to guide us to the directions that they want us to go in. And for the few people that say no, there's a lot more people that say, Oh, please, sir, more? More? Ah, Vinny's not answering his uh, Skype communication, so we will abandon that for the moment. And go back to the chat room and see what's happening in the real world. Um, yeah, well, he may be ready, but he didn't answer, so I don't, I don't know what to make of old Vincenzo. Um, 
today, what have I got? I got, see, I got this nice, quiet, peaceful existence in the world. But I've been in the big cities, and, and I know that all i got to do is get on a train and go to Copenhagen. And inside of a 20 minutes, I could find all the drama and shit and problems I could ever want. And I guess I just choose, uh, I choose not to now, uh, not to support the the big metropolis. You know, I'm, I'm more the, the country bumpkin in my, the end of my days. I don't want to, I don't want to do the city anymore. So, but Cirque has to. Family ties. Eh, she was uh, off to a christening today. They had a, a new child in the family. She got a nephew, I believe, a couple months ago. And uh, they went to go do the religious rituals that that side of the family or whatever the details are to that do. And Cirque went because she's a family girl. And I got to stay here and watch the dog and not go anywhere. <laughs> you know, wait, wait a minute. I heard a tinkle tinkle in my background. Let me try Vincent one more time. But uh, anyway, I was over on the, on the mines. Find a lot of different, I don't know, different in, input on that site. And Vinny's still not... Vinny's still not answering me. Okay. Wow. Hmm. Whoop. Let me hang up this phone. Maybe he can call me. Hmm. Oh, okay. V Grimner's making one-liners about it. Tell him to turn off some of the porn, says Rob Works. Yeah, but if you if you interfere with his Ethiopian porn channel in the mornings, he's usually very difficult to talk to for a couple hours. <laughs> How much RAM? <laughs> All these and these computer geeks and their their terms, they were pretty sneaky when they wrote this shit. I got enough RAM to fill a thing full of it. Whatever the hell that is. And I really run out of stuff already. This isn't fair, Vinny. You were supposed to come on here and help me entertain the free world of the real liberty media. And you don't show up, so. Hmm. Let me dig deep into my bag of tricks. But outside of the, the daily reminder of the internet that the world beyond my two cubic feet is fucked, um... If I turned off the computer, I probably wouldn't know. Just abandoned the whole internet thing and replaced it with other stuff to do. But guess I'm addicted to the internet. I do like to be um, informed at the level of information I've gotten. Because you can take all this, all this shit you read, you can take it however you want. I try to tell my wife that. My wife, mm, sometimes I think we're on this parallel with it, and sometimes I think she rolls her eyes at me. It, it's simply because everything that I was taught turned out to be basically nonsense. So the older I get, the less I want to cling on to, oh, they taught me how all this shit when I was little, and oh, they taught me all that because it all turned out to be crap. What's left? How much RAM you want, says Rob Works. Rob Works must have an extra RAM for for old Vinny. But, hmm. I don't know. The way we fight amongst our own, amongst ourselves, uh, maybe, hey, there he is. Maybe, uh, not so much, maybe a lot. It's up to the individual. I'm going to call Vincenzo right now because I've lost my mind. One, two, three, four. There he is. Uh, are you kidding me? I wow. have no idea. What? Welcome wow. to the dark table, Mr. Easily. <laughs> Put your pants oh, on my. and have a seat, sir. No, Google, no update. We'll have Thank the you. waitress get you a <clears> nice <throat> beverage and maybe a cheeseburger. Is it really bad to cuss on the Sabbath? I don't know. Do I don't even care. What's a Sabbath? Like Black Sabbath or Brown Sabbath? 
Oh. Okay, let's see if I can tune in. I opened up the chat over here on my phone. Stupid computer. No, it's the stupid operator. I learned that a long time ago. <laughs> I just accept They hate my, me. I accept my fate. Yeah, well, they hate <clears throat> me too. But I got, I got married, and she's she's really good with the computer. Yeah. Me, nah, I can turn it on and turn it off and make shit, you know, play. But that's, <laughs> that's about it. Circ <laughs> gets in there and does the technical shit. Uh, anyway, so what was well, your, what was your problem today getting here, Vincent? I, I my computer. Yeah, two uh, two gigabytes, I guess, is what it's called, of okay. RAM. Yeah. Uh, so I I shut down the chat on this computer here and just have Skype going on it. Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So of. yeah, you're you're in a bad state. The less shit you got, the yeah, the more information you can give out. <laughs> I ought to I ought to test it though and open uh, Chrome. I don't know, but Grimner says he's addicted to internet love, or he's making fun of me because I was saying if. If I wasn't addicted to the internet at, to the level that I, I guess I am, because I really do use it a lot, and I don't only use it for stupid shit like video games and crap. I mean, I've, I have learned quite a few things because I'm on the internet, but I didn't get on the damn thing until uh, I was playing games in America before I left, but that was about the extent of it. You know, I'm kind of burnt out, I guess, a lot uh lost a lot of drive and wanting to do anything. I, I've looked at so much information and now what I find is is opinion from people. I mean, people trying to claim to be experts in uh, any number of um, ideology. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, and they're all guessing, you know. It, it's, yeah. they're, it's like they're ashamed. Human beings today are ashamed to say the words out loud, I don't know. If you say I, that, you're fucked with people. I like to say it all the time. Uh, no, Grim, I do not. My wife would not like that. But in the internet world, we have a waitress and food and all that kind of shit. Because on the internet, we're all wealthy, beautiful, mm. and rich. Just ask Hans, he'll tell you. And it's Chloe great. Said that. You Chloe says, I, ask you. Ask, that's what I just did. I just mm. answered it. About well, the waitress. Do it again. No, I just did it. <laughs> I ain't doing it twice. <laughs> and I even got my dog sitting here with her face on my hand. So this is weird. Aw, hi, Hannah. Yeah, Hannah's, so. Hannah's waiting for her other human to return from the city. Uh, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. You and me are supposed to be fighting on this broadcast. And, we'll get to it. I come in, yeah, I come in with the ass whipping already from, from uh, my computer. Oh yeah, boom, black eye. Yeah. I clicked. Uh, I clicked to open the browser too uh, yeah. while we're talking. And yeah. It acts like I didn't even click it. I'm gonna try again. <laughs> Wonder what'll happen if I push this button. I know. Ah, huh? uh, there you go. You're filling in for Mary in an appropriate fashion now, sir. <laughs> yeah, I thank you, Grammy. I had to use uh, one of your uh, sayings about uh, the scout. The scalp. Got, got dandruff. Some of it itches. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, because you're a you're a god guy, and you don't want to defame your god. Well, I I cuss pretty regular, but oh, because um, my god uh, does. It depends. Oh. Depends. Ah, oh, what did I do? I clicked yes. Son of a, stop. You're still. Oh no. You're still. Oh, here. they kicked me. You're here in the headphones. So. Oh my god, what happened? Can you hear me? Yeah, you're fine. I, I I think I hit yes for a Google update. I uh, hope I didn't. If you did, oh, you did. Oh. And if you didn't, I'll oh. get back to you. But uh, I, I should shut this thing down. I don't know what you should do. I'm not your damn doctor or <laughs> fucker. Figure it out. What's wrong with you, boy? Can't you think for yourself, son? Killing me, man. Killing me. Mm. I, I hope that didn't just trick me into. Uh, oh yeah. What's that? Google ten or whatever. Uh, no, Windows 10, right? Yeah. Well, what you can do, what Cirque, what Cirque did for me was, I've got, see, I still use Windows. I'm such a hypocrite. But I, I got like this, it. yeah, I got a game I use, and I can't use it through Linux, so I figured, ah, eh, fuck, if I can't use it, 
why bother to switch? So I got one computer on still on Windows, and I use it for the radio. But mostly for my games, my little childish games I like to play. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then Rob works is teasing you. Clickety click click crash. He oh, says, I know. He said, "Oh, you got the oh, okay. You can read the chat." Yeah, I've opened it in my uh, iPhone. Wow, wouldn't you amaze me with your redneck ways, young fella? I don't know what to do. But this thing's spinning over here, man. In this, oh, uh, they tricked me. They tricked you. Well, what I was saying is you could. I was uh, distracted. You can strip the computer down to zero zilch nada, and then replace what you want on it. And put it back. That's uh, that's what it needs to happen to this thing. I need uh, yeah, just, really need to catch Grimner and and uh, come over. Uh, and, some of these things on here, I've got uh, Camtasia Studio Eight, yeah. which is a really good. Uh, uh, and I don't know if I can take it off and put it back uh, on. All right, Vinny, yeah, I, I got to school you, Vinny. All right? Okay. okay. How far from a city are you? Um, on 20 miles to town. Oh, okay. In that town, do they have a pawn shop? Yeah. Okay. That's that's where I bought this computer. All right. Because, <laughs> yeah, because I, I, when I was in North Carolina the last the last year, I well, just went and got a nice one for like, 40 bucks. It was cheap as shit. Anyway, brand new. It hadn't been used. But it's 420, by the way, somewhere. Yeah, hey. Chop, chop, fizz, fizz. I got a dog on my hand, too, here. There you go. Move yeah, your mug, mutt. <laughs> hand is all lovey-dovey for some reason, and she's usually not with me. My, Me and my dog have about a three-foot of you know, distance thing. Unless we're, like, sleeping or laying down on the couch or something. But as far as, like, if I'm sitting in a chair, she'll usually give me my room. But right now she's being pestery. I think she wants to go out and bark at something. I got a dog visiting me. He's out here at Coca. He's sitting outside my door. Oh, you can't let him in? Oh, I don't you know, let him in. Too big or yeah. what? Yeah, he's a big old stinky dog. He's oh, beautiful, yeah, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I've been around, yeah dogs all my life and sometimes the big ones yeah you let them in the house and you kiss your table shit goodbye because they're wagging their tail so a person learns or they don't learn i'm afraid my google's screwing me here it's hey. spinning around okay Vinny needs help he's being screwed by google maybe he needs yeah. to start a group anybody want to join the my name is Vinny, and i got screwed by google Group. I uh, I think I'll give me a ba hey it's opening a bag well, of uh, kidney beans yeah. and yeah I just put a few in a bag yeah. and sell them as magic beans. Well okay but here here just let me just ask you off the cuff can can you replace the damn thing at a pawn shop or not yes or no Mister what the computer yeah yeah my brother's supposed to buy me one but yeah I, you said that a year ago two years ago I think I don't he know. never has yet. I need yeah. to send him some rocks, some fossils, and oh. just let it like come to his doorstep as a reminder. Well, he's yeah. gonna blackmail you. Ah, yeah. eh, eh, tell him to fuck it and get your own for forty bucks at a pawn shop. Yeah, maybe a hundred. Uh, I just All paid right, off whatever a hundred, just forty, something like that. I don't know. I made my last house payment this month yesterday. Well, the way I remember the city is there was always. Uh, Places where people needed money. Always schools and shit like that. There was always billboards and newspapers with shit for sale at dirt right. You know, just cheap fucking prices. People wanted to get some cash right away so they could go, you know, get a fix or <laughs> pay a bill or whatever it was. You know, their car payment insurance was due that fucking day and they had to sell their computer to pay it. And I was the prick that would go, hey, how much do you want? I'm Jewish. Is, uh, is that kind of like being scruggle? Yeah, and I saw that. Yeah. Scruggling? Is yeah. that like scruggling to somebody? Well, you're being scruggled. Yes, very much so. Right on the right air, idea. live. Right for everybody. If we had video for this, I'd make a fortune. Mm -hmm. I would sell it to the highest bidder. Well. And become famous uh, as the guy that sold your scruggle video. Yeah. Uh, shall I turn on the video? I, might I kill don't. Us. No, <laughs> it eats up a lot of fucking memory if you do, I'll tell you that. Uh, so, I know what you look like anyway. 
Yeah, but, I, I yeah, we used to talk every morning. Uh, I, I enjoyed that. That's well, part of my problem right now. I don't have my. I have not set a schedule for myself or um, built a routine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. See, because my morning is in in most of the states is uh, your daylight. You know, it's your nighttime, so it works out good for me because I'm a, you know, early early to bed or what's that early to early li- yeah early to bed early early to rise because got animals to manage and wives to see off to work and all that kind of stuff so it, yeah. it changed yeah it changed everything i used to hang out all night now i i stay home at night all night up all night Try yeah perfect gonna get it right i don't know but it, don't shit. Get it right. you know me and Cirque have been what it's been four and a half years now one night at a time yeah i guess but i mean days i can't imagine being anywhere else already at this point in life i got way too much gypsy blood uh blood i think bold in me maybe maybe you'll burn it out maybe you won't i did oh different i'm uh I'm glad Different to be folks. sitting at home, but I mm-hmm. still like to roam. Home yeah, on the well, roam. No, I I hit a peak and went. Nah, I'm done. That's enough. I've had enough TSA agents, you know, looking for bombs in my shorts to last me a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the I, fuck they think I'd be smuggling from one plane to another. That it requires a, a search to get on it, a search to get off it. <laughs> but, well, was, I went and traded uh, Tennessee license or ID mm-hmm. uh, in for under my Arkansas back. And, right. uh, out here in, in Clinton, they won't put you uh, – uh, you got to supply more documentation, but you, I can't even fly on an airplane now. Right. You need the new ID. special Fed yeah. card. Yeah, I was I talking had, about uh, that a couple uh-huh. weeks ago, and everybody was just ignoring it like it wasn't, you know, wasn't important. Oh, it's been going on for a long time. You know, it used to be called the uh, National Identity Act or something like no, that. No, I just heard the about National it. National ID. Yeah, a no, it's been going. Ago. Yeah, it's been in the works for a long time. Well, yeah. And what oh, they okay. did, Government they endorsed. slipped it in through the Homeland Security deal. See, in Tennessee, oh. that's part of, yeah, the uh, Department of Public Safety or DMV, as it's called some places else, are um, uh, incorporated with uh, Homeland Security now. Now they can make an extra 36 bucks forever how long the license is good for to go into certain buildings and fly on airplanes or you need a passport then you can't get in the federal buildings yeah you can't get into federal buildings that's right i was using my arizona id in uh, nevada yeah well it doesn't expire okay now now you see how i see this government just over the years just slowly squeezing the man out you know you're not not only are you not an individual but we don't even recognize an individual. You need to be part of a group. If you're not part of a group, get the fuck out. Am I still in the chat over there? No, you you're just got. It up. just says you just quit. Just bo- booted you out, or did it Wait didn't say you got bumped? It says you quit. Um, yeah, my phone shut off, so I should be uh, back on now. Maybe. Uh, there you go. You just joined on the RLM chat at eighteen twenty-eight and forty-three seconds. Wow! Right. Look at you. You're just overachieving all over the place. That's the Vinny I I. Uh, well, just plain old Vinny over here. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. But you should probably break down and and uh, just go crack a crack a hundred, and go get you a new machine. Yeah, maybe next month. Hey, I'll tell you, I saw a really good fucking video. Can you work with chemicals? Me? Yeah. Like. What cooking meth? Like no, sim- similar, <laughs> similar to that mentality. But Somebody, not, wait a minute. Hold on. Somebody yeah. put uh, dot poot. I guess I could do that. No, Vinny I, I has no. Yeah. Vinny I, I can. Uh, yeah, but that. it's similar to meth, but it's not illegal. <clears throat> but it's the same, the same kind of. Uh, you mix this with that, and you soak these things in this shit for that many hours, and. And I, what I saw, if the time was, if the time li- uh, lapse was correct, in 24 hours, this guy <clears throat> melted the gold off broken old computer parts and uh, cards and whatnot, discarded shit, and melted all the, the gold <clears throat> off it and had the chemicals the right 
formulas to separate it with. Right. Yeah. And I had a friend that used to salvage and there was a buyer. Um, some yeah, things well, inside it, the board have, have it and others don't. Inside of a 24 hour period, he melted enough gold. It, he had a, st a ball the size, it's probably about a third of a, uh, of an ounce. Wow. And at 28 grams an ounce, so that would be what? <clears throat> mm -hmm. That's a few bucks. And even well, for, for the amount of time that he spent actually physically doing shit, most of it's waiting and knowledge, knowing what to pour when. Oh, yeah. Did a video uh, of it. Yeah, shit. I've seen the most amazing things on the internet. Several years ago, uh, um, there's a show called Gold Fever, uh, oh. Massey Boys. I okay. uh, did a gold show, <laughs> and he had said that there was uh, uh, all the gold mine that exists in the world today would be a 30 by 30 cube. That's how the big the measurement. But mm -hmm. Mary was, uh, what did she post in the um, the chat earlier? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 about Ron Paul and, and uh, talking about how the, the gold is money and, uh, you know, current or the dollar bill is, is debt. So anyways, yeah, yeah, I went and... Yeah. Uh, Clicked on that, and then I went and did a search. And Warren Buffett, uh, he said, the gold that exists in the world today that is above ground, mined, that is, is uh, a cube 67 uh, square. Square what? 67 feet squared in a cube. Okay, you didn't say feet. You just said 67 squared. All right. I don't, yeah. I don't know what you <laughs> – you got to remember, I'm I, over here in Denmark. Yeah, I, I can't they don't use like feet. to uh, – they don't, out. Yeah, they don't use feet and inches, and then when they, they when they find out <laughs> I do, they find that amusing. But what they don't find amusing is I can do either one, so it doesn't change anything. I've got an advantage. You can't will, fool uh, me. <laughs> I refuse to convert to metric. I, I never will. I'll die and never uh, be able to tell you what a millimeter is. Did you get your MGA hat? MAGA hat to fit that with, sir. I hate Trump. You're a racist. You just I, hate white people. You I'm a fucking, racist. Yeah, you fucking racist. What do you, what do you got against the white man? Huh? Really? I just no. Don't, only don't you, orange. I'm a racist against orange do, people. Don't you want to see your white brothers succeed in this dark, cloudy world that we live in today? Yes. What kind well, of answer would I say if I would it be if I said no? Well, you're. How can you be against Trump? That doesn't make any sense. I'd I'm not. I'm up. not against him. I would never Aha! get that close. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be within a ten foot pole's reach of him. Well, what about him bothers <laughs> you so much? Because we all have different uh, information to to draw our conclusions from. I, so I think what really bothers me the most would be that um, so many people have uh, put their faith in this guy, and and who is he? He's a uh, uh, he's manipulated the system and, uh, to his gain. You know, he talks about creating jobs and he destroys jobs in his, uh, you know, uh, mergers and, or what is it, murders and uh, assassinations, it's called. <laughs> mergers and accusations. Yes. Good point. But a lot of people are just the cognitive dissonance. You know, they're so well educated, they think. That, oh, yeah, Donald Trump, he's the one that saved New York City. Well, actually, it depends on the light you look at that in. I think he's just a banker's shill. He was the face they wanted to use, and yeah. that's it. Without the bankers, he couldn't have done a fucking thing. <clears throat> he was... He was a middleman for, you know, the power between the power and the government. <clears throat> and it looks like the government lost to the power. But, hey, what can we do? You know, it's 40 years ago. It's kind of late to complain now. Yeah. But Talk um, about draining. Shit, Talk draining. About drain Am I still here? Yeah, Talk you're about still here. Okay. I didn't know this thing's flipping. You ought to be watching my computer. Oh, now you're gone. Okay, we lost him. Vinny went bye-bye, but he'll be back in momentarily. I'm pretty sure. Yep, there went the call. Anyway. Gold weight uses troy ounce, 31.1 grams. Right, I realize that. You know, I'm sure Vinny does too, but in your daily life, you use the tools that are available to you. And over here, they don't <laughs> they don't use the tools I grew up with. 
they use very different tools. Now, what do I got to do here? I wait until he comes back on again. He'll be back in a minute. We're going to take this time to say hello to a few RLM people that didn't show up. <laughs> oh, Miss Penny Hansen. Hey there, Miss Penny out there in our, uh, wherever in the electronic world. My buddy, Mental Pancakes. Oh, who else didn't pop in today? Becky I am didn't show up, but, you know, people are traveling and busy and have lives and whatnot. Little Miss Mary didn't pop in. She's abandoned the dork table to be a farmer. Now she's a farmer dork. <laughs> well, I don't mean that the way it sounds, Mary. I guess it just sounds bad. Now, while I'm stalling here waiting for Vincenzo to come back, I found some interesting sites on the um, YouTube links, I suppose. Maybe it came from mines, but they ended up to be YouTube links. Basically, you're gonna you're gonna run into a lot of YouTube if you're anti YouTube. And one of the things I'm interested in this month is alkaline water. And uh, the reason I bring that up, I have personal wa um, problems with um, remembering to drink water every day. You know, some people I drink a tea. Tea dehydrates you, but I, then I forget. You know, in the between the big glasses of tea. It helps to drink a couple of small glasses of water, and I can actually feel it in my, all the way, I can feel the water running all the way down to my calves internally. And Vinny's back. But alkaline water, it, it's a purification system, and there's a few different ways to apply it. They've got ready-made containers that you can just add the water to, and I guess you change, you change some filter inside that in, in time. Then they have complete systems to alkaline, to make your water alkaline so that you can drink it clean out of the tap. And it takes out all the chemicals and shit that the government's all put in this crap that we drink. And if you think they don't, well, then I don't know what to tell you, but they do. And the proof is in the pudding. Look around. I mean, the results are kind of obvious to me. They seem to elude many. I'm going to try Mr. Vincent on the Skype. But ringy-dingy, ringy-dingy, bing-dingy. No, he's not answering, so we're not connecting to Mr. Vincent yet. We'll give him a few minutes. He'll say something on the RLM chat. And then we'll return the phone call. No, he yeah he made it back to the chat uh, chat room, but not yet made it quite back to the Skype communicator. And uh, we're not going anywhere, so Oy, this is gonna be a long show. Anyway, yeah, the alkaline water I learned that from the internet. Everything that I learned that came out to be proof seems to be as a result of somebody or something I met through the internet. Um, hmm, what else have we got? I don't really have a lot to say about the water except that uh, the more pure and the better for you a product seems to be, there you go. And it doesn't take much to make a few adjustments or buy a little gizmachi here and there to Bingy bingy, I'm trying to get him back. Toot 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 toot. We'll give him four rings this time. Boop beep boop beep. Boop beep boop beep. Wow, no Vinny. Oh, boy, we're having the worst damn show. <laughs> damn Vinny. <laughs> what am I gonna do? And then I got this other really creative idea other folks don't really go along with too much maybe uh grim and and rob works might appreciate it my good friend vincenzo and maybe miss kate yeah meister bra <laughs> a few others i think the truth of all this crap is we are held back by our governments the government does not want you to proceed it wants you to stagnate so you'll fuel the government and the government does nothing good for anybody, ever. The medicine's jacked up. The money's jacked up. Look around you. I mean, if you're sitting somewhere where you're happy, then you're like me and you're one of the rarities. Because most people, 
you know, I know Woody just popped a nice little five-acre piece of land down in uh, Arizona it's in a non-disclosed location somewhere in the vicinity of Tucson. But we won't talk about that part. And who else? Anybody else moved lately? Oh, Miss Kate moved last, what was it, a year ago? Ah, there's my wife just came in. So the dog is probably going to go ape shit any minute. And then you'll be hearing Danish women yelling. <laughs> mm. But, let's see. Wow, they're chitter-chattering like a bunch of banshees on the RLM. Some kind of a capital letter secret code going on between Vinny and Chloe. Now it's turning into numbers. Uh-oh. It's fucking Vinny. Oh, got it. Hey, let me try calling him back one more time. Now this is getting... This is getting repetitive, but uh, anyway, yeah, I've got this strange idea that government stops us from any type of pop. Whoops! Ringy dingy, ringy dingy, ringy dingy, ringy dingy. No, 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 no. no. Well, that didn't go anywhere. So we're we're back to doing the solo, I guess. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. So what's the deal, Vinny? You got no, uh, you got no power to be on the RRLM radio program today, huh? At the dork table, live, live, I tell you, with your friend, me, flash somebody. Come on, I got to do this act alone. <laughs> but anyway, what I was saying, I really don't believe that. I think the, I, I don't, I've heard powers that and all this kind of crap, deep state. I think it's just one big pile of shit. And if you're trying to separate it, that's where your trouble comes in. Not recognizing it as a pile of shit, Mr. Rob Works, Mr. Grimner, but trying to separate that this part of shit isn't as bad as that part of shit, so oh, I'll go with this part of shit. And in the end... It always ends the same, and people are miserable, so... Hmm. Well, except for, it seems to me, whoever, like, on these selections, they want to vote for a POTUS. If their POTUS wins, and their POTUS sucks, they will not recognize the suckiness of their own POTUS. They only recognize the suckiness of the opposition, but... Very rarely does anybody say, hey, yeah, I picked a loser. This politics shit is a bunch of crap. What the fuck am I thinking? What, you know, nothing, nothing ever seriously changes. Uh, not to mention that, that society is just, God, it's, it's a god-awful clusterfuck now. I mean, everything's a problem. I can't think of anything that we use on a daily basis that hasn't been poisoned ripped off manipulated or uh, lied about i mean it's all the negative shit i'd like to do a positive show but i don't know what i'd have to talk about except for me and cirque <laughs> that, that's always why are you brag about that well i guess it's luck or something and there she is see the dog's all over her and she's in the kitchen with her pet and life is good I I don't seem to I don't seem to recognize the the negative shit in a, in a sense where I can't conquer it and, and most of it's physical anyway an additive of this to my food and in a few days sometimes a few hours whatever ailment was starting to creep up on me goes away a couple of months ago uh, before the summertime, it was just at the end of winter, maybe March or April, and I do this crazy radio shit. And I woke up in the beginning of the week, and under my, under my chin, above my throat, I had a some kind of a an inflammation. So I had seen a lot of videos about vitamins and what vitamins to take for what. So. I went to my bag of tricks and I remembered vitamin C taken in mass doses will kill just about any infection that you have. And that includes certain types of pneumonia. So, armed with my bottle of vitamin C, 
and my jug of orange juice, I proceeded to take a massive dose of vitamin C. And then I stopped. I only did it the one day because too much can damage your kidneys. There's a lot of variables. But doing this once in a while to attack a, a foreign object coming into your private zone, it's probably the best thing that I could have done. Okay, Mr. Vincenzo. And now we'll take a five-second pause while I call Vinny. do 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 Oh, that's horrible. Well, he's not answering. I tried. I tried to get the Vincenzo. I missed. My aims are crooked at Flashco. What? Vinny... Uh... Vinny to your flash. Well, I'm not sure what that means. Oh, <laughs> fucker. Now I get it. I read back. Call me Flash. You're Flash. Okay, Gribner. You're the funny fucking guy of the day. Ha, 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 Anyway. So, I got to say this, though. I know more shit that other people don't give about a fuck about than most people on the face of the earth I have very rarely do I ever um, know a thing that's positive or good it's always all this negative the bankers are fucking us the medic the medicine's not made for ya blah 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 you wouldn't believe the truth if the truth slapped you upside the face but and then the truth slaps them and then they go I don't believe you <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so I'm so amused by the missing. I'm gonna try Vinny one more time, but hmm. wow, the solo podcast from the Dork Table with the intermittent Vinnies. One more time, we're gonna try to call him. Whoop whoop. It said missed on the last one. Boop beep 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 boop beep beep beep. beep. Beep, 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 beep. Nah. Give him till four. Now. Well, we have quite the dilemma today on the dork table. Hmm. Let's see. What should we do? <laughs> anyway. Do we trust people or do we not? That is the question. I don't think I do. I I think that could be the core of my my in, my inconvenience in life is that there's something about the stories that I'm told and the stories that I've grown up with and the shit people tell me now some of it that well Chloe brought this up. It just mathematically isn't sound. Uh, a couple months back I found this link about this lawyer brilliant fucking guy he figured out in his way to define it that the admiralty court runs on a certain type of uh, verbal structure let's say and that the admiralty court itself has decided from the beginning of its mission to conquer us that it would talk and jibber jabber and disregard anything that anybody says and just talk and jibber jabber and do exactly what they please, when they please, and how they please. And for hundreds of years, they've been doing just so. The Admiralty Court is not something I created. It goes back a long way. They've hijacked everybody except the royals. The royals are somehow immune to this. Oh, it could be the money that they've got, but... Hmm. Let us ponder. I don't know. You can become wealthy overnight and lose it in 24 hours and be back where you started. So it might not have anything to do with the money. Maybe it's got everything to do with the family and the connections that are made over hundreds and hundreds of years. And then the rest of us are sold all this bullshit about how you can vote and become the president and change things and 
if any of that was true, we wouldn't be sitting where we're sitting now, using oil and having nuclear and Fukushima's leaking and what other good crap's going on around the world. Oh, I don't know. Sweden's being raped by a bunch of, um, what do you call them, aliens from some country that the West bombed out so the people had to go somewhere. I mean, crying out loud, they bomb a lot. They've been bombing for many, many years in many, many places. And the results of bombing is you're going to have people that survive. they got nowhere to go. I'm sure they thought this out in the fucking beginning. But we get lied to and manipulated through the media and, and the law. And they tell us they tell us one thing while they do something completely office, opposite and or slash different. Let's see where we stand in here on the old rocket chair. Oh, we got the rocket chair podcast from Miss Mary on 28, wait, August 31st of 2018. That was just last night. I heard her show earlier today. I thought she did a good job. She does the reading and she likes to read links. Me, not so much. And it's not because I can't read. Well, maybe it's because I can't read. But... I don't think I really like to, I like to think of my own stuff when I can. Unfortunately, here we are today. Hey, Woody, Woody's out there in, in the thing. I asked, uh, I forgot to ask at the bar, but I did ask my wife about the fine. And her her comment to her, her response to it was, it would depend on how many people were in the bar at the time of the fine. Because they, apparently they've got their little calculations and they, they do it by person. And the people that, you know, of those people that are there, who was smoking? How could you be responsible for a fine if you're not the one that broke the, the little code that it was connected to? And, you know, and then that's a, another thing is that the difference between a law and a code or a statute and all that kind of good shit. If you're into commerce, it matters. If you're not in commerce, how does it make any damn difference? I mean, you, people behave as though we all live in these wild jungles and people just romp around and willy-nilly and smoke drugs, and steal and break things, and that's their society. Well, I guess maybe that's just what they've accepted as normal. You know, that's what they're willing to, to tolerate. Then that's what they're going to get. I saw a dog ride a bicycle. So, I mean, if you could teach a dog to ride a bicycle, you could teach a human to be satisfied with a cubicle in a cage. And especially if the cage, if if it's like an invisible cage, you know. You know it's there because every time you go out... You see guys with guns and badges stopping and harassing people, checking for their paperwork to see what they're up to so they're not a threat to society. And I guess that's the best we're ever going to do. If you're over like, I don't know, 10, 20,000 people in a population, I think it just at some point it breeds corruption and violence and thievery. Oh, Vinny's back to playing the ducks, so I guess you're done on the dark table. Wait, he's joined up again. He might be trying to get back here. Just type yes into the RLM chat, Vinny, and I'll try to call you again, because I've done it so many times, I'm tired of it. <laughs> hmm. And like I brought up the time, I was talking about being arrested on my father's three-wheeler. I call that add-on crimes, and they justify it by... Well, suspicion of, you know, and it's the police's word against yours. And it, as history has shown us, you can't trust them. They're, you know, I mean, all the way to the Washington, all you have is corruption and lying and stealing. And what? Well, what's the new thing they got? Um, asset forfeiture. So now they're going to take your shit. And charge your shit with the crime and let you go. And then make you come back and get lawyered up and go into their admiralty court and then fight for a few years to get your shit back. 
and prove that you're not a criminal. Mm. Grimnir is suggesting that I stay in my two cubic yards. Oh, I got two cubic yards. I thought I had two cubic feet. I got bigger. Okay, I will be happy to do that. But just remember this, Grim. Wherever I go, my cubic yards go too. So, and I'm not the type to, you know, mess with the, the authority in a stupid fashion. You know, if you're going to fight a fire, it would be smart to be trained to fight the fire before you go fighting it so you know what to do in the case of a fire. <laughs> and the same thing goes with uh, what you guys, the powers that be, the government. All you got to do is just have your documents. That's why the illegals that are successful, that's why they beat you at your own game. Because... They go through the expense and the pain and suffering of getting that fucking paperwork. So the paperwork, it speaks for you. You don't need to, it doesn't matter if you have an accent or if you can't talk or whatever. If you have the document, there you go. They let you in. And it really kind of goes beyond common sense and logic, but it's legal. And that's what matters most, mostly to um the voting group, I think. The rest of us, I don't know. I can take it or leave it. Shut Brazers and Pornhub off. You need some bandwidth, Vinny. That's what Frumpy said. I'm just quoting him. <laughs> uh, I got quoted. <laughs> but I believe that. If you can teach a dog to ride a bike, you can teach a human to be happy in a cage. We're not much different. If you look at the education system that we managed to have to survive well i'm an old dog so the one i survived can't be half as shit as the one the younger folk than i survived Vinny knows Vinny's a few years younger than me but he knows what i'm talking about he went through it i think grimner grimner members maybe mary and then the a few of frumpy Oh, yeah, Frumpy had a birthday the other day. I'm going to grind him on his birthday. Happy birthday, you old dog. He said he lied about it so much he didn't re realize he was 60. And I got such a giggle out of that because I'm coming up on a birthday this month, too. In fact, in three weeks, I'm going to be having a birthday unless Cirque poisons my coffee. In which case, well, <laughs> it's been fun. <laughs> I miss you guys. <laughs> But I don't think that's going to happen. I just like making sick jokes about poison and coffee. I don't know why. It's some, some kind of problem I have. Maybe there's a group I could go to to cure me of my sarcastic wit. Because half the time I really think it's funny. But well, sometimes uh, the people listening don't. Now, where were we? I got a LOL out of Vinny, but I don't have no call me on here. So... I guess he's just not quite ready. And I could, you know, I could live without government intrusion. Couldn't you? I mean, couldn't anybody, if they really thought it through? Um, hell, my wife complains about it. My wife's a Dane. And she's employed and all that. But I don't, I don't think she sees it as the the drudgery and, and problems that other people do. So she seems to be happy with her slavery. Me, I'm comfortable in my cage now. You know, we doing a little work on the inside. I'm going to do some painting and sanding and redecorating kind of stuff for the wife. And make the room look kind of shiny and pretty and see if that scores me any. But we'll, we'll find out. Hmm. It's very good to have portable cubic yards. A lot of people didn't know. See, that's what I mean, Graham, is we're so conditioned by the badges and the guns and and the state and the, the governments and all this shit that you can't just walk around anymore and just enjoy it. You got to have your, your paperwork in case you get stopped if you're driving. Or you got to have your passport in case because you, you can't get to the next border without it. And Wow. Because we've been conditioned to believe that people cannot be trusted. 
And what I've been conditioned to believe with my life and experience is that when we're overcrowded, these are the results we will always find. And it doesn't matter where you're at or what color you are or what language you speak. It matters the amount of people you are surrounded by. That's what I think. I haven't got too many people agree with me so far. I have been alone long time. Been alone long time with these ideas in my head. But the good side of that is the uh, the internet kind of brought it to life and showed me that there's other people out there that think the same thing I do. They're just so scattered, for fuck's sake. You got one in Nebraska. You got one in Texas. You got well, we're we're still looking for somebody to represent Massachusetts, <laughs> but but we're falling down in that. <laughs> Yeah, Grim, your representative from Massachusetts is just not holding up his end of the of the bargain. <laughs> but I don't know. I don't hold it against anybody personally, say, for supporting Trump or for uh, support, supporting Obama. I get pissed off because of the, to me, the lack of information that you have. If you knew the truth about these men, how could you justify supporting them? They're horrid people. They kill. They, they're above the law. They've got nothing, uh, nothing to feel bad about. This is what I was reading earlier. Oh, the guy looks good and happy and fit. Well, he murdered people for eight years, and he's only been off that job for a year and a half. So maybe he recovered from his guilt. <laughs> if Cirque kills me, you'll just have a dead man's party. That's fucking right, too. None of that fancy, uh, I don't need no mausoleum to be remembered. Shit, I don't even care if people know who the fuck I am. It doesn't matter. What matters to me is me. So I just kind of assume what matters to you is a you. I uh, know, Mr. Grimner is quoting the Led Zeppelins. They, that was kind of an interesting little band. I remember I remember the first time I heard Led Zeppelin. I was like, uh, it's 1969. So I hadn't turned 10 yet. I was still nine. Nine years old. The last day of school. And somebody had got a hold of... Uh, they were playing records on the last day of school, and one of the girls got a hold of her sister's Led Zeppelin song. And I went, holy fuck, what is that? I'd never heard anything like that before. And and here we are now. <laughs> Led, Led Zeppelin. Wow. When I found out how much of their shit they stole, I cried like a little girl for about ten minutes. I mean... Yeah, Page and Plant were good, and yeah, they did incredible shit, but the people that wrote some of the incredible shit that they got it from were just as good. They just didn't have good equipment. <laughs> it's like Eddie Van Halen. He didn't He didn't invent finger tapping, and this Italian guy from 1965 was doing it with an acoustic. So, you know, it's eh, Paul McCartney's not even Paul McCartney. So, let's see. Oh! Uh, Woody's asking, so Grim, RLM coin, dead or live? And the response from the Grimner is stagnant. Hmm. They're doing the geek talk on the RLM chat for all you Bitcoin folks out there that want to make money and be rich. Come on down to the RLM and get some free advice. Hell, I'd charge you 20%, but these people are, I guess they're white guys and they don't know about the Jew thing yet. They'll learn. Give them a little time. Anyway, I don't know. I can't keep my mind on one particular topic tonight. But uh, another thing about society that irritates the fuck out of me is how I'm always being told how to observe something. This is round, and this is flat, and this is on an angle, and this is, well, maybe I don't see it that way, you know? And if people can say, well, we're not all the same, but we're all alike, but we see things differently. Well, how can you can see things, okay, you can see certain things differently, 
And then society draws the line. Well, you can't see that differently because then you're not part of the gang. And you know how we are about people that don't want to join the gang? Well, we bomb the fuck out of them and make them move here. <laughs> or, or to one of the Queen's other estates, Canada, Australia, the UK, France. All these good and wonderful things we got going on in life right now. Um, hmm. I don't know. I think there's just a lack of knowledge. You know, if if the knowledge that we were taught in school was based upon truth and fact instead of history and science, which turned out to be total frauds, wonder where we would have ended up. Maybe we'd have a better collective. What's the deal with putting butter in coffee, he says. Oh, a lot of people do that, Grimner. And the butter's good for your brain, too, by the way. it's uh, Your brain is made out of fat, according to the stuff I have read. And if that there is true, what do you feed? Fat. Why, you feed it fat. You don't starve it. If you starve it, you'll end up voting for Trump. And if you vote for Trump, then what you find is the rest of the world don't seem to like America so much, very much, right now. I think the Syrians are kind of pissed off at you, you know. What goes around comes around. Well, Grimner, that that's a wonderful sentiment, but I think that fucker, what was his name? Rockefeller, the one that died like he was 150 years old, he did a pretty good job of not dealing with um, consequences of his actions. Unless you believe in an afterlife, and I don't, I don't really know about any of that. Uh, but I would think that the life he had while he was here, he was a very uh, happy man. He had lots of money and lots of things to do. So he was never bored. And he played with a medical system, convinced a whole fucking country of people to do the very thing against your nature to make you survive. I mean, all the inoculate, I mean, just, just the thought, Butterbrain, yeah. But just the thought of an inoculation, I was listening to, uh, think of who it was, Clint Richardson and uh, another guy he had, I can't, I'm really bad with remembering names, probably butchering this guy, but they were talking about the inoculations and how they started with them and when they started. And if you look, certain recorded histories will show you that the problems that we have today are a product of the last hundred and eh, hundred and so many years of science interfering with uh, the population as a whole you know like the inoculation thing they finally came came clean and said yeah the, the inoculations are causing the autism hmm. but just like a bank robbery you got to catch them first and in the paper world an accusation against a group that big that AMA or the FDA or the Medical Association, whatever it is, if it's that big, you're not you're going to go to court. And then by the time you're going to go to court, you got five to ten years of court, depending on how far you're going to go. Maybe you're going to go to the Supreme Court. Maybe it'll draw it out even longer. So you've got the crime that you did in 1980, and here you are in 19 or 19 in 2018, and you're finally getting a, a judgment against you. But you had all those years to spend all that ill-gotten gain and enjoy your life. So we're really misinformed. Do you give up, Finny? Okay. But we're really misinformed about the consequences of life. You know, it, it's not what we th think it is. It, the things that we're, that we're shown time after time have been proven to be frauds, deceptions, lies, magic tricks, and here we are, all of us, not just, you know, not just you guys. I, I'm here in my own way. I'm just, in my mind, I'm standing off to a side, just shaking my head, wondering why everybody's still running and I haven't gone anywhere. And you're still there, but you're, you're like on a, uh, on a wheel. And not all of you. I, I've got, there's a few folks that I seem to uh, identify with as far as, the mental lifestyle that you live does not always have to fit the exterior. Your words will back up your actions every time. 
and prove one thing or another, I suppose. No, I am sorry there, Miss Chloe, but Mr. Vincenzo, he could not make it. He needs a new computer, and uh, he doesn't have one <laughs> at the moment, so we're doing this shit by myself today. Mm. And I'm scattered, and my wife come home, and I haven't seen her yet, so I'm a little bit antsy, and my mind is racing. Hmm. Wonder what would be a good topic to bring up to the. Uh, hmm. Oh, I also look at this. They bomb a foreign country or they advertise in a foreign country to bring people to America for a new start. And then bringing in the illegals justifies the need for the government to keep out the illegals. Because once you're there, there's so many technicalities to immigration and law. I think it all boils down to either money or the lack of money. And uh, there's lots of people that have made their self home in America legally that got booted out and the government kept their shit. So just like they're doing down in Ven Venezuela, sending people to, they can leave Venezuela and go to America. <clears throat> But they can't take out any more than $300 American out of their account. And they can't use more than $700 on a credit card. So they've got to abandon their funds and leave it behind to go forward. Go figure. And, but it's, see, these, these are the illusions that they're right in front of your face. My face, your face, whoever's face. How deeply involved in this game is the average guy actually beyond his his understanding of the game it how much physical reality is there to it you know okay you have a house and you have a debt and all these i haves and i owes and i'm responsible fors but until you take a physical action it's just a bunch of energy floating around in my head now, where does the action start and then the authority come in and start dictating what and where and how? Where I'm at so far, it's been very lax. They're, uh, for a socialist country, I, I'm pretty sure this is considered a socialist. What do you call it? Um, socialist, so, social state or something like that. But I'm a guest, I'm a guest here in the first place. And in the second place, I don't do commerce anymore. So it nobody gives a shit about me as long as I don't create some kind of financial disturbance. And that's life. That That is the key to success in a foreign country is not so much the acclimation and the blending in, but the getting along with the people that you live around and not creating a bunch of shit. Well, apparently, <laughs> a lot of the people that have been going to America, Canada, and the UK, and Australia, and all these other Yala's places, they they aren't Western civilized. They have a different upbringing. They've got different uh, ideas, different hatreds than the, the average free English-speaking white person <laughs> now now cover to cover on the internet it's white people be proud of being white <laughs> i i don't get it i i i guess it's because uh oh the elixir has come to the royal table thank you wife i i am such a lucky guy anyway um that <laughs> made me lose my thought completely. I saw the wife and went crazy like a old man should. Anyway, I'll go back to reading the RLM chat and see if we can churn something up. Quit churning your butter in public, Vinny. <laughs> hey, Don, it's me. <laughs> uh, whipping it is okay. Oh, yeah, you can whip your butter in public if, well, probably not. I would, I wouldn't do it. You can do it. I'll just look the other way. <laughs> Pretend I don't know you. Mm. And now for a relaxing sip of the elixir. Ah, oh, that was 
delicious. Ah, I think I will live another day. Anyway, what do we got here? The Presidential Proclamation on National Preparedness Month 2018. What the fuck is National Preparedness Month? <laughs> and those that know, know the reason why. And not the things in the proclamation, not listening to the stream. Have to go to town in a bit. Well done. People have lives on Saturday, and the ones that are sloughing or putting shit off get the dork table. <laughs> are you? Miss Kate's out in the yard, got headphones on. Wow. <laughs> Sorry it's not a better show. I don't. I, I was really looking forward to playing with Vinny, and the being alone thing is a little different. Mm. Maybe I'll just light up another pipe load and not worry about it. And, uh, and let's see. Hmm. Let I've gone through most of my notes here. Let me look a little bit more. And it's hard to read and install at the same time. But I'm gonna get a B in Aussie land. But she doesn't. We're nine hours apart. So for her to catch the live show is real inconvenient for her because it's like her time of morning when Gr Grim and Moose are on or Mary is just late and it's inconvenient. So I catch I catch the reruns. But yeah, come in and to dry off, humid as heck. Well, that's the price you pay for living in a, a warm place, you know. And not that uh, I lived in Florida in the winter time, and I know that their their winters, depending on where you are, can be brutal. And I don't mean brutal beyond th beyond freezing too much, but I did get I did get snowed on a few times up near Tallahassee when I was up that way in the seventies. Roaming around the United States of America and such. Now, I don't know. I'm settled down and I'm getting uh, I'm getting calm, I think. Well, maybe not in a mental, so to speak, fashion, but my uh, physical things. Ah, Grimner said he tried to call... I tried to call you on the Skype. Yeah, let me, let me open my Skype. I'm... Okay, yeah. Okay. I got I'm having Skype issues of my own. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well I said I wasn't going to do that, but uh Grimner tried to call me. Okay. And, see the the button thing doesn't give me the alert when I get an incoming uh, call for some reason. I guess it, there's a few glitches on my machine, Mr. Grimner, but I'm going to go in here and load up on you, and then I'm going to call you back. We'll try that, because you're the last person. <laughs> Greetings. I see you tried to call me. I did try to call you, but you didn't answer. You're the last person I expect to ever hear a call from. But uh, I was saying on on thing, my Skype doesn't give me an alert when somebody calls in unless I've got... Whoops. Wow. Did I lose... <laughs> Whoops. Uh. Huh? <laughs> I told you, I I pushed the wrong damn button. See, but it doesn't give me the uh, the interruption, so I know you're there. Oh well, then how I, do you know you missed Vinny's call? Because I keep a a window box open so that I can see it with my eyes. These well, that's, th that's this the window with I, I find. Yeah. Using your eyes is the best way to see. Well, this Windows program shit is just so intrusive, and there's probably crap in behind everything else, doing shit, makes little glitches. So when you're supposed to have something happen, it doesn't because of the glitch. Right? That was layman computer talk for this thing's all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's good to have you call in on the dark table. Haven't talked to you in a while, Mr. Grimner. 
Yeah, no, it's it's uh, certainly been a while, but I, I was feeling bad for you there. You're, you know, Vinny, Vinny uh, has his problems, left your ass hanging out in the wind there. Oh, well, he didn't mean to, but you know how it is. Yeah, I know he didn't mean to, but yeah. but but all the same, there it was. Well, you had a problem of your own yesterday. Didn't do the balls to the wall. What happened? Oh, uh, well, I, I, I just uh, out of balance here, man. Something. I'm still. I'm still feeling it. Don't really? worry, Vinny. We we don't care. I mean, I we we understand. You're, no, you're, it's just my yeah. It's my my doing the solo thing is all great. It's yeah, Vinny or you. I'm glad somebody's here to yak at. It makes it easier for me. Yeah, no, I, I figure if you got something, then we can talk about it or, or whatever, man. Well, yeah, I really do, and it's this one thing just pestering me. It's the intrusion. Let me see how I wrote it. I wrote a note. I write little notes, and then I I lose. I try to keep them in one spot so they're easier to find. But then again, ah, here we are. Uh. I think we're held back by government as well, a collective. Sir, certainly they want to hold you back because, well, that's what they're good at. <laughs> right, but but they preach the quite the opposite. Uh, r- right, they they try and tell you that that you're empowered through them when it's obvious that it's not that you're empowered through them. You are. You're definitely being held back, held down, pushed down through them. Why is it so hard for for the uh, person that supports that to only see the good and not see the chains? Were you ever a voter I'm yourself? Not sure, at sure all? what the good is. What is the good? I mean, well, if the good is something that benefits them personally, mm-hmm. but at the detriment of everybody else. How is that the good? Unless they're just greedy fucks and they, they don't care about everybody else. They only care about the little things that, that wind up in their pocket, you know, to, to, to assist them. And if yeah. it's screw everybody else over, they, they just don't care. Well, well, and then they get looked up at or looked up to or pedestaled by the, the public like Trump. Trump is a horrible person. Good Lord, you would have to be a horrible piece of shit to be where he's at in life. There's no other excuse. Well, right. I mean, he got he got to stomp on all kinds of people to get to where he is. And uh, now that that seems to be the common knowledge, but how how does the average guy manage to just bypass that whole the whole idea that he had to? If you got a winner, you have an equal loser. So if you have a man that's got three and a half billion dollars, there's three and a half billion dollars came from somewhere, even though it's in this magic fiat currency accounting crap we do, it's still at some level of reality it does exist. Right. Okay, but instead of making life comfortable for all of us using the best materials, the best, uh, the best of what there is available to manufacture something to make it last a hundred years, it's far more profitable to make one every three or four months. And and instead of people being taught the first, they're taught, hey, it keeps jobs going. Right. Uh, I'm not sure. Chloe's uh, Chloe's asking me. You or we. I'm not sure what she's referring to, but I'm going to say not you, not we, they or them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, we tend to talk in those terms. It's kind of in, like in bread in us. Started out, you, 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 you. We've butchered this language to such a level that it's 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 almost comical. Well, yeah, and, and I had an article. Let me see if it's up here. Uh, I don't know, but but the thing about people using the uh, inclusive terminology when talking about the government, it, it it drives me insane when I see people say, "Well, we bombed this place." No, we didn't freaking bomb anything. They did. <laughs> yeah, I know. Wow. We this war. No, we we did not start this war. They started this war. Um, yeah. 
it, it, but but I, it's it's it, it took me a while too when I when I when I first realized the uh, problems with the with that kind of terminology to to get beyond it. So mm. I know how difficult it is to separate yourself from uh, whatever group you you associate with uh, mm. or are associated with uh, default, whether you actually associate with them or not. Mm. Such as the United States, or, <laughs> yeah, or if, the US. and the article is talking about things like uh, if you live in a particular city and they have a football team and you're a fan of that football team and you say, "Yeah, we beat that team." No, we did not. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> not you're not out there. You're not on the field. You're no part oh, of it. No. Not getting paid. You you pay to see somebody else succeed. Right, at and, an and, imaginary at an yeah at an imaginary level that's not real. Exactly. Right, and they've proven that because after the games they've proven oh this guy cheated and oh this call was wrong and all the <laughs> so <laughs> you just you just spent three hours of your fucking life watching a TV show that somehow in your mind is real. And the person looking on does not understand the paradox that they're being they're they're being questioned with. It's not. How can you tell me it's real when it's not? Well, I saw it happen. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You saw you saw the moon landing too. <laughs> Ex- uh, I I've been watching some links on the um, mines last couple hours before I did the show today, and one of them was about one of the space launches. Uh, what the hell were those things called? The shuttles. Right. And it showed that somebody had taken a a film of their own and showed it going up and then veering left and then falling back to Earth. Okay. (laughs) Mm. Oh, then there's other little trinkets on there. There's the dead that were killed in shuttlecrafts that were found in, in... legal positions professors <laughs> that you know they just changed their name and they were alive doing something else 20 years later so hmm, how deep does this go i don't know but uh deception via various methods is not very difficult well i did try to give give the uh the site the new site the old world truth new realliberty.org and uh, I posted it over on my little minds page. It got me a little minds page. A few people like it and uh, got somebody come over from minds yesterday. She's a um, grandma with a, a kid she's raising and she was saying, well, I don't have a lot of time, but yeah, I like to check it out and I told her it's a very small. We're just getting back started. She joined right up in the first uh, first few minutes she was there. Cool. And I didn't tell her anything. She said, just go look at it. It's a small site. We're just reorganized, getting started back up. Be a judge it yourself, and boom. Okay, so, so here, here I am. I'm looking at your post. I believe this is your post. Hmm. Uh, publisher of Flash Somebody. Uh, it says, they said it couldn't be done, so I tried. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm not a very friendly guy. People know that. I'm an argumentative, uh, disagreeable, know-it-all. And if you don't agree with everything I say, I don't want to talk to you, right? That's the the impression I get from a few people. So I just thought I'd prove that that was just a story, just one more story amongst the many other stories, you know? I don't tell anybody much. I give them my opinion about something and figure they're smart enough to do what they can do. Hopefully. <laughs> now, I, I was trying to say, did w- were you ever at a point in your life where you were a voter, or were you lucky like absolutely. me? And just, no, okay. absolutely. I, I've I voted oh. many a time, and generally, um, nothing I ever voted for happened. Wow. Meaning, if I voted for a candidate to be in whatever office, they never yeah. won. If I voted to uh, not <laughs> increase spending via whatever bonds or things, the, the, those things always got passed. If I voted to not approve some new regulation or law, those laws or regulations always got passed. So everything I ever voted for happened the other way. 
Wow. Never, never once was anything that I voted for because I was opposed to all the shit people were wanted. And, yeah. and, and apparently it wanted anyway, they were convinced they wanted and they wound up getting and then bitching about. Um, but yeah, so no, I voted up until, um, well, not up until, but, uh, the, the last vote was 2008 for Ron Paul. Mm. You know, Ron Paul sat in, in, in that seat for 22 years and he only had one, one vote, one, uh, law passed in his career. Yeah. Well, it makes me wonder. I, I don't know. Well, I don't, I think he was, the, the system is designed even if they have a third choice to squeeze that third choice out. Yeah. Well, like I say, you know, I voted for Harry Brown back in the nineties, a couple times. Never even heard of him. He, he was the Libertarian Party dude. Mm, mm. Well, yeah. I don't. Well, see what happened to me, so to speak, was quicker. I got. I took, turned sixteen and thought, okay, I got no education. I got this girlfriend. I want to do something with my life. Try to go in the military. And uh, they s- turned me down, all of them, except the Air Force. But I, I didn't apply to them. <laughs> but the <laughs> other three, <laughs> yeah, the other three said, well, the Navy had me all the way up to the uh, day before. And then I get a call in the morning and they said, we're, we're not taking you. And we're not telling you why. It's uh, privileged information, blah, 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 something. And you're just not going to, don't show. You're, we're, we're not taking you in. So because of that, at 16, I went. Fuck this system. <laughs> I, I never tried to get in any military. There's no way I could wrap oh, my I, hand. look looking back, I would have got booted out of boot camp. I'm just yeah. it was too there was no control in me. So I'm, no I'm taking orders. <laughs> well, and then we've got Chloe telling me to shut up instead of turning off the show. Or she's talking to you. I don't know. She's I think maybe she's telling, maybe she's telling Flash or Hans to shut up. Hmm. I, Which, I can't, I, I can't I can bother understand. with him. Anymore. I totally understand that. <laughs> I can't read what he says, so I just assume. <laughs> oh. He said. He said yeah, well, no. Say, he says, Chloe, so never have any children and you will helping the planet to recover. What? Wow. Speak English. <laughs> what language are you talking there, Hansel? <laughs> well, that's that, that Magtow girl sweet talk. That's how they score heavy with the babes. He's, he's he's like missing a lot of words or is, I don't know. I I do it sometimes. Type too fast and don't get my point typed out properly and I, I, I don't get it. But it's only Hansel. It's not like it matters. Anyway, Chloe's telling him that he needs to get down to his Starbucks shift, so <laughs> I thought it was me. <laughs> Cuz I'm a I'm an anti-government. No matter what government, no matter where you're at, you don't have a good government. The government here yeah, ain't just the thing no. Is the government. No, it's not good. It's tolerable. That's all. The population is small enough that they can't be as intrusive here, and and people would leave or overthrow. Right. I mean, Christ! If they got their one of their snack cakes pulled off a store shelf in Denmark. The Danes would go right to the damn newspapers and start bitching about it and get it back. <laughs> well, you saw what Romans was talking about this morning there. In Ohio, they uh, just suddenly came up with a new law, regulation, whatever. No more CBD oil is to be sold within that state. Wow. Why? Ex- except through oh, oh, yeah, yeah, non-existent yeah. dispensaries. <laughs> Yeah, no, I I was following along. I forgot about that, but they don't have the dispensaries in yet. But the yeah, drugs the legal. Dispensaries, and you can't through buy yeah. oil from anywhere other than these dispensaries that don't exist. And up until yesterday, apparently it was just a normal thing. Everybody walked into the various shops and got their CBD oil. Wow. And and for uh, undisclosed reasons, uh, it's now no longer there and available. So the retailers that had stocked up on all that uh, have a bunch of stock and they can't sell it. And the customers that were dependent upon that that substance can no longer get it. And there's no reason that they did this, at least no real reason. Well, nothing they're going to cop to. They're going to lie about it like they always do. But it's commerce. 
I yeah. bet they're not getting a big enough kick down from you know what's being done. They're losing their ass on alcohol. People are going, hey, I don't want no more of this doctor shit. I'm not the only one that's given up on doctors. There's others. I'm in the minority for the moment, but they'll come around eventually, or they'll I, die. I think I see what Chloe was talking about. Uh, mm. She said, when you talk about government holding you back, government is holding all of us. Yes. Yeah, maybe, that's what uh, I said. All of us. I, or obviously they are, but I can't. I can't speak for you, Chloe. I can't. I no, can't. Right. I can't say the government's holding you back because maybe all that you want to do fits within the the regulatory scheme that the government has set up. I just know they don't for me. Yeah, I say we because I think that I'm connected to a lot of people. In my mind, you know, I've got true friends in the world that give a fuck about whether I, you know, return their phone calls or not. You know, but I'm in such an isolated place that it's hard to visit here. Now, we're having another friend, uh, friend return in uh, uh, the week after my birthday, coming in from um, Canada. Been here before, came and stayed for, I forget if it was a week, week or two. And uh, he's coming back. He was impressed with it, and me and him got along fine. It's a friend of circles. Uh, you know, I, I always want to picture you guys in the Netherlands. I don't know. How do you mean picture? Uh, that, well, when, I, when I see you living over there in that part of the world, I want to think you're in the Netherlands. <laughs> yeah, we are. Exactly. Well, no, we're not. We're the not. Netherlands is, no, we're in Scandinavia. Yeah, the you're... Netherlands is all, it used to be Holland. That's below Germany. So, Because right. yeah, we're a few not... miles north. I want you to be in the, in the area of Amsterdam, and you're not there. No, we're a couple hundred miles from me. I think it's like three, 300 or something. But I've got no interest in going there. sterk has been there, so there's no point. You know, now it's my, our life together, me and her, is just being comfortable and, you know, her getting through her work when she has to go to work. Because a lot of the time, they'll, they give her great uh, vacations and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time she might have like maybe a day or two during that work week where there's no physical meetings that need to take place and she can just stay home and do her work. Great. That's great. Yeah. And that's uh, the other thing is we have the, the Internet as a result of her work. And it's this uh, she works in a, uh, insurance. So the, the technology to get into the computer is a little more difficult than like what I do. Right. No, when she logs on to her, her work computer to do her work, she's on a secure line and nobody's going to be interfering and what do you call it, hacking her and all that kind of crap. Or if they are, it's going to be a, a smooth deal because this is a pretty well in tune company. They know what they're doing. No, she, she's a computer whiz, so. Right, but she doesn't do like coding or uh, she doesn't build build the websites but she does the stuff before all that and works with the people that do she, she's more of the architect yeah well it's really hard to say to explain somebody else's job to a third party but yeah you get the point point. and you know how complicated finance is there's so many different kinds of jobs to have within it that you don't even have to ever deal with anything that has to do with money to work there right because they're dealing in, you know, huge companies, billions of dollars, and all this kind of crazy shit. The very thing that I call an illusion is what Cirque does for a living. And in a sense, kind of proves to me that it is everything I saw. I thought it was. Oh, so she's a magician. I get it. In a way, yeah. Because her, her personality is not what you would expect somebody to, that to be in corporate and, and survive in corporate with. Okay, uh, I'll give you an example. If you ask her, if you asked her at work in Danish as a Dane, who do you support? She'll tell you nobody. I'm an anarchist. Okay. To Right to the person talking to her. This is a socialist country. They're not quite ready for anarchists. <laughs> You know, it's just uh, the time's just not right yet. Need, they need a few more years. They're still they're still sucking the tit of Mother State. 
Well, but well, they still view, uh, or I don't know, still, or they, I don't know how long it's been, but they view capitalism as as an evil thing. It can be. It depends on how you apply it. Well, it depends on whether it's free market capitalism or state capitalism. Exact. Well, obviously, we're in state capitalism. Right. But I, I feel that the difference between where I'm from and where I'm at now today is basically a bigger portion of the tax money is actually used to do the things that they tell you. They don't steal all of it. Oh, well, they do here. <laughs> I know, I lived there for many years, Mr. Grimner. I drove many roads. Shit, I saw people sitting in potholes looking for uh, something to clean their roadkill off with. <laughs> <laughs> what a world we come from. But only, you know, they say only in America, but I don't think so. I, I've, I've lost not my love for the country because in my mind it's not the country, it's the dirt and the people that I, I'm connected yeah, to. Yeah, tell me this. Um, yeah, yeah. Because people say, you know, whatever, America is the greatest country, or you got to love this country, or what, 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 is, what is the country? What, 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 what does that mean? Because the country, as it is, as whatever, take a name of a country and put it in, put it in the brackets, only exists because some group of people got together and said, we're a government now. We claim this piece of dirt, and that makes this a country. And we'll make sure it remains a country by force, because the only way we can be a government is by using force. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's so obvious, I don't get it. So, so when people say they love the country, or they say, yeah. oh, I don't love the government, but I love the country. <laughs> well, well, what do you mean? What is it? <laughs> I know. I know. Don't know. That's what I mean. We're all all our indoctrinations all thrown at each, you know, and then they throw us at each other. And your indoctrinations twisted this way, and mine's twisted that way. And I'm for this, and you're for that. Well, it's, it's, it's like those other people. You hear them. Well, I don't support the war, but I support the troops. You want it? F- yeah, <laughs> nah, I I never could understand that. And <laughs> and my experience with the troops is the, the shame and the. Uh, I can't find any other word. They're just the shame of not being able to openly speak about what they do when they go there to the sandbox. They called it the sandbox, the Marines. Mm-hmm. And But they were sworn to secrecy. You can get them drunk, you can get them high, and they would not say fucking nothing. They would have talked amongst themselves, but if you're outside from the military, you're in a Marine, they weren't saying nothing to you about nothing. Give them some acid, yeah. Well, I didn't, I didn't really have a connection for that at the time. And, boy, 55,000 troops quit this morning. And I don't know. I think that would clear it all up, you know, just get everybody fucking stoned and then tell them, okay, what do you want to do? Where's the pizza? <laughs> right. You know, yeah, well, they got a bunch of gamers bombing people with drones. They've been doing it for, what, 20 years now? Mm-hmm. How often, too? I mean, the amount of money that we're talking about here. I mean, beyond the fiat currency, it's the idea of all that to destroy and all that to waste instead of doing... They could have rebuilt the planet five times over with the money they've wasted killing people. And it's always the same bullshit stories. Oh, they're communists. Oh, they're this. Oh, they're that. They're always something. Now, like Syria right now, taking an ass whipping, and the fucking Russians are going to get in there, and we're probably headed for World War Three. I mean, the physical part of it, not not the, not the intro and the fine, but the actual whoosh, is coming. I think. I hope I'm wrong, but I told Cirque at the beginning of the year, this probably be the last one. 218 and when well whatever comes this year will change everything for all of us yeah well name something that hasn't been a disaster in your lifetime they promise us one thing and then we get it and it's a complete opposite of what we were told every fucking time oh well sure i mean if 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 they the government the various governments around the world anybody 
that believes they're in uh, authority over you promises you something, it's it's bound to turn out terribly. Have you ever been in authority over people? Uh, I mean, I mean, I've had been uh, what do you, what do you what would you call it? A, a not responsible. Really. How's yeah. that? Is that a better term? It's not really a supervisor, but people reporting to me. So, uh, I, I, yeah. I, I, yeah, I've had that. Sure. Hmm. How did it? Did it make you feel powerful, or did it make you feel kind of like, well, I don't like to do this, but I'm going to do it? Well, I, it made me feel. I mean, generally, it was fine. I, I mean, they people would come to you and say, okay, what, what's the the next task or the next piece of work, or here's my report, and you got to. And I had to go through it and comes, you know, a couple of times a year, you got to do like the review, mm-hmm. tell them how good or bad they've done or what they need to be better at. Or did I know I, I didn't feel any, I mean, they were just my still people that I, you know, knew just friends, it, co-workers, it, whatever. it never went to your head. So it, it was like watching kids, you know, you, well, but you don't have again, your own, but I do. That was at that level. Let's uh-huh. say I was at the level of some CEO of a mega corporation where you've never even met or seen or will ever talk to all those people that are there, except for the small group that are right up, you know, on your butt. Um, that that would probably be different. I mean, because you've got to make decisions on on mass, and I only had to do it for a small group of folk. I'm not so sure I buy that CEO makes decisions crap either. Oh, well, whatever. They're, they're yeah. the ones yeah. that. That, you yeah, know. you get paid. You get paid in the you know, other people do all the work. That's like Cirque. Cirque does her part of whatever it is it involves other people, and then that goes to somebody else. And the, ultimately, that person at the head of her department is the only one recognized for what came out of that department. Right. And so it, nobody will ever know Cirque ever existed in the you know in the equation. Well, you let Cirque know we know she exists. No, no. I mean, I'm talking about, you know, <laughs> in, in the corporate world. You know, it's just like being in traffic, you know. Oh, you're driving your car. Well, have you looked around? There's a lot of other people driving to Mr. Special. Yeah. Mm. I don't, I'm trying to get over my uh, uniqueness, I suppose, but my appearance doesn't help me get there. Well, I, if people can't get past that part of it, and and uh, some people can't, yeah, no, some people can't. Your actual but parents are. The last couple of weeks have been going over to the local pub that calls. I call it the General because I can't say it in Danish, and it's got it's a nice little place and it's clean and the people are friendly and they serve food. And I met this guy a couple of weeks back that wanted to shoot pool with me, and mm-hmm. he's turns out to he's been. Uh, he went to America like two weeks ago, and he's again going to the parade, the big uh, Trump parade in November. Uh, I call it. He's doing some military thing, right? Well, yeah, he's uh, he's a vet from Bosnia. He was in the Bosnian things, got scar and all that. I mean, this did parade, his time. That that parade thing, it's like some military. Yeah, yeah, but Trump's supposed to be doing this huge gala windfall fucking parade in November in Washington. And one of the guys that I drink with, oddly enough, is he's going to it. Okay. So here I am stuck in this bar. And I don't mean stuck in the bar in, in, in the bad side. It's just trying to tiptoe around because I don't want to tell this drunk Dane how I feel about his hero worship of that fucking idiot Trump or his military crap. But we're drinking in a bar. So I have to put on my nice guy suit and tone down. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm going to have three Danes kicking the shit out of me because I'm being an idiot. Well, yeah, yeah, you don't have to do that. You just say, oh, well, that's great, and walk away from him. Um, well, I like the guy. No, we, 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 <laughs> we're, we're bonding. We're actually, we got a friendship based on this fucking pool game because he thought I would be impossible. You know, to, I'd never figure it out, and then the first time I did it, I was like, hey, this ain't so hard. <laughs> So I give. So when he's drinking, I'm competition to him. Okay. And that kind of thing, I tend to be nicer about political stands and shit that, in the end game, doesn't really matter to me, but it matters to him. Now, did you ask him 
why he thinks that Trump or the military or any of it's a good thing? It was pointless. No, it was one. Of, he's what? How can I compare it? He's a party uh, state man, party man, military man. He's got his group to protect. He's part of that gang. Like my brother was a Marine. You Once you're a Marine, you're always a Marine. Even if you're not a Marine anymore, there's a thing in the Marines where they, they recognize each other. Okay. I really get pissed off about all the homeless guys that get sent back to and they've got nowhere to go. I don't, I don't really understand that. I think that, personally, whatever they did to get in that condition with the military, the military is never going to forgive them. Because otherwise, they take care of their own. Right. Well, any group will. I mean, there's a group I'm a part of, the weed smokers of the universe. <laughs> oh, would you throw me my pack of smokes on the counters, please? Right, before you go. Hi, okay. uh, how you doing? I'm saying hi and bye while I'm on the radio. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you again. Oh, thank you. Oh, you have a nice night. Yeah, have All a right. nice night. There we are. Oh, that's my mother-in-law. Oh, hi, Mom. Margaret. Margaret. She's, she was, uh, yeah, they had a christening. I was talking about it earlier before anybody got here. Uh, Cirque has a new nephew, a couple months old. And her, you know, the family that's, had the baby are religious so they did the christening thing and the family all went to support it because that's what families do when they're like Cirque yeah or me my family would support me even if I was wrong at when they were alive sure and they'd shake their fucking head and go oh god what's he doing now but they would never stop me after a certain age it would just let me go and do whatever the fuck stupid thing I thought I had to do and get it out of my system but my old man was pretty clear about it. there's consequences in life, and if you're not willing to pay them, don't do it. Oh. There you go. How much more knowledge do you need than that? You do this, this could happen. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. I'll see you later. <laughs> go try that. <laughs> yeah, that works. Uh, <laughs> well, I crossed the line with his motorcycles. My father was the renegade. You know, He had me riding motorcycles and... When I was f like four or five years old, they had these little things called mini bikes. I don't know if you remember them. Are those sure? Okay. Well, and back then, I'm an old man now, and you tell somebody now, and they don't even know what, you, what you're fucking talking about. Anyway, we had go karts, mini bikes from uh, far back as I can remember, four or five years old. And when I was 14, I wrecked into another bike. I got uh, blindsided by a bigger bike with two guys on it. And we collided front tires on an angle, like a 90-degree angle. It was a really weird accident. Well, I flew off the handlebars over, so I got free of the bike falling on me. But the 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 flying through the air and the landing took took its toll. And the old man, he straightened out the front yeah. tire. Yeah, but he straightened out the front tire made me go back out and ride some more that day. Get back on that horse. Took me to the hospital the next day. <laughs> My dad had a sense of humor. <laughs> he was one of those tough fuckers, you know? The ones with the bricks for hands. Okay. Well, I'm a small guy, so, you know, strong, bricky, fucking... Uh, you work with your hands for 40 years, and you tend to get a grip. Okay. And he was one of those. You, know, you, you couldn't shake his hand. He didn't know his own grip. At least that's what he told us, because my dad wasn't... Uh, Not that I understand that, yeah. Yeah, he didn't play with us when we were little, and, you know, rough house and all that. Mm -hmm. He says, ah, I'd have probably killed you. I went, wow. <laughs> and then when he tried to, I thought, wow, you're not as tough as you think. <laughs> I, see you I didn't say <laughs> it, <laughs> but I thought it. <laughs> hey, I don't know. Now he's gone, you know, so it's it's easy to make jokes, but the the funny thing about what we what we get from our folks and carry on into our adulthood kind of helps make us what we are, you know? So, some of it's obvious, some of it's hidden behind all the, you know, the pretense and the look at me and the posturing and I'm part of this and I'm part of that. Like, I'm married to Cirque. Woo! But we did the legal crap to get the government off our back. You know, if it wouldn't have been for the government, 
would the government have been on your back had you not? Oh yeah. Fuck really? Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't just go willy nilly flying into some other country and just boom. Oh, I'm not going anywhere anymore. I'll stay here. <laughs> There's wait, rules. Wait. So, so they would have been on your back because you were an immigrant, not because mm. you lived together. Oh yeah, yeah. Like that. Yeah, it would have been because of my my uh, being an yeah an immigrant in their yeah. Because that's why I say I'm a guest oh. here. All right, all right. That this is, that makes sense. Yeah, this is not my home. This is my wife's home. Well, it's your and home. The people, yeah. the yeah. Well, in a sense, but in another sense, I don't really follow the. Oh, I, see, that's what I mean. I'm so distant from what other people call normal and real. To me, is just illusion and habit. Well, like you said, you live there and you're not going anywhere. You're going to live there at your home. Right, right, right. But a lot of oh, what I'm, I've got family and children back in the States. They're still pissed off at me, but they're still blood ties. Uh, hmm. You know, it's, it's the same as seeing the Redwood Forest. It's not something you could explain to another person. They got to do it theirself and see their version of that, that incident. And to me, where I live is incidental. It's just a bit of dirt. It doesn't have a value. One country ain't any better than the other fucking one. Maybe one might be a little general or on how they handle you, but eh. And that comes up to the end of the Dork Table podcast. How about that? Okay. <laughs> hey, I was wrong once or twice before. Vinny supports me being wrong. And, uh, what anything going on till tomorrow on the RLM? I'll be doing the blues in the morning like I always do. Uh, okay, so I call you it, were just, but it's noon Eastern, and uh, I, I do that for three hours. We play trivia, you know. So yes, yesterday was just uh, a fluke. You just took the night and decided it didn't feel right. Oh, it felt fine. I didn't. <laughs> oh, you're physically not well then. Yeah, I was physically off balance. Oh, I, mis I, I misunderstood that. Okay, I thought you just didn't. Because, see, Tuesday I'd planned on doing a show. I went out drinking and forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to try to remember to do it right this week. All right. But what happened? Yeah, I went out for a few beers, came home, sat down on the couch with Cirque, and the next thing I know, it's Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. Yeah, whoops. That's all right, man. <laughs> I was doing my impression of Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got trivia. We yeah, we got trivia in the chat, and we got the, we got the blues on the radio from uh, noon to 3 Eastern, and then yeah. Al Anthony at uh, 3 Eastern or noon o'clock Pacific. Uh, for a couple hours there, and then uh, hopefully you'll be, you'll be on Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday, yeah, I want to do a nine and nine I, to eleven my time thing. Nine to eleven, which is I yeah. Heard that two o'clock. It's two o'clock Vinny time, so you're an hour before him. Clock Vinny time, which means what? Three o'clock Eastern. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so three Eastern Six, and, and, yeah, and three Eastern. into a couple hours there, uh, yeah. and it's still going to be called the Dark Table. Always. What else could you call this mess? I don't know, man. The White House? The, the, American, the, the American government? The, the stuff you need to know that you never knew you needed to know. Um, There's a lot of it. Right. <laughs> well, thanks for bailing me out for the last bit. Anytime you want to stop here and say, hey, you know, um, Vince, Grimner, help yourself. Besides, you're, you're the boss. Hopefully, Vinny gets that computer situation straightened out at the uh, local <laughs> pick and save or whatever, whatever whatever store you told him to go to. Yeah. Well, you're you're pretty good for the serious conversations, so I like that. I like your knowledge on the money too. We got into that way back long time ago. Yeah. You schooled us in money right here on the dork table. So anyway, thank you and thanks for playing everybody in the RLM chat and so on and so forth you want to close it out that's it i'm done peace <laughs> all right let me close